It is Monday, September the 20th, and that means it is, of course, time for my News Radar. So late last week on Friday's News Radar, I took a news story that was going around from my laptop mag where they erroneously took an FCC listing for Surface Duo 2 and then just made up or implied, I guess would be the more accurate word, a bunch of phony baloney. So if you see this picture going around of Surface Solo, and maybe you didn't see last week's news radar, this is nothing. This article, this FCC listing is for Surface Duo 2. And I've done this. I went, I did a deep dive into this FCC listing. It talks about folding, opening, and closing two screens. This is not, it's not this. This, they even have it here. This is a tweet from September the 10th from a designer. This device is not happening. So if you, again, if you see this going around social media, this is fake. This article has no justification for showing this image or implying that this might be what Microsoft is making because this listing is for Surface Duo 2. So let's do this kind of halfway again on another tweet because we have a tweet here from Shadow Leak talking about some leaked information about the Surface Pro 8. And there's two things going on here. So let's go over the information on here first, because this is actually what's important. So it's going to be running Intel's 11th gen core processor, which is accurate. This is true. 13 inch, 120 hertz, high refresh and uh, narrow border screen. My understanding is that Surface Pro 8 will indeed have a high refresh rate screen. I've not been able to 100% nail this down, but I've heard this as well. Again, can't confirm it, but this seems like it could be true as well. Obviously, Windows 11, dual Thunderbolt interfaces. This may also be true. I had heard this as well. Replaceable SSD hard drives. Now, this is something that they've been testing in the Surface Pro X lineup to this day. This is also something I have heard. So the details feel true. The problem here is the picture, because this picture is not the Surface Pro 8. Granted, Surface Pro 8 will look similar to this, but this picture is the Surface Pro X. And I can prove this to you, because if you go back to this article from Anand Tech from October 1st of 2020, you're going to see this is the render that Microsoft put out for the Surface Pro X when they jumped up to SQ2. So look at this render. Look at that render. Someone just photoshopped a Windows 11 background on a Surface Pro X and said, that's the Surface Pro 8. That's not the Surface Pro 8. Now, I want to make something painfully clear here. Shadow Leak did not, I don't believe, produce this image. He obtained this image and is sharing it with the information he's had. So I'm not saying Sam here is the one who put this phony baloney image on here. He's simply sharing what he has received, as any leaker will do. But once again, just like in this first article, FCC listings are real, and you can read them. And when you read them, you'll see that this is the Surface Duo 2, but on top of it, slapped on top of it, is bullshit. And same thing on this tweet. The information here, probably true. The imagery used here to get clicks, because you have to have an image of the device to get clicks, right? Can't just say the information. You gotta have a picture. So I don't have the pictures. I know. I'm going to go find an old picture of a different device and tell people that's the new device. Because why? I'm a lying piece of shit. That's why people do this stuff. They do it for clicks. They're liars. Man, that was really harsh. I'm not calling people a lying piece of shit. Maybe I kind of am a little bit. I don't know. Don't do this, though. Because when you do this, you're wasting my time. Because now I have to be the one to make a video explaining to people that you lied to them. It's not, you're, you're, it's, stop. All right, now that we're done with all that lying garbage, let's talk about Android 12. Because something was actually discovered in the preview 2 of Android 12, which I think is actually really interesting. So let's look at this article from Android Police, where they don't lie to us at all, as far as I can tell, which is a, a great practice for budding journalists out there in the world. And let's show exactly what we're talking about here. So there is a taskbar that could be enabled. This was discovered by XDA developers. And this taskbar existed inside Android 12. And basically, if you're using a tablet-like device, it would give you a taskbar where, as they say here in this paragraph, 
you could drag apps off the taskbar onto the screen to split screen or to just launch different devices. Now, this shouldn't sound wildly unfamiliar to you because this is something that we have kind of already on the Z devices, the Z Fold devices, where you have this taskbar on the side that no matter what app I am in, I can launch Twitter, my taskbar remains, I can launch Reddit, my taskbar remains, I can drag Twitter over to the side and I can split screen. Basically, Samsung has done this already and that's great and I actually adore that feature. It is so good and it adds to the functionality of multitasking and to productivity on Z Fold in a way that I really didn't even imagine how good it would be. It's, it's really, really, really good. And it's cool to me that it appears that Google is experimenting with making their own built-in version of exactly this. This is really great news for Android tablets going forward because this is something that we should just have. Taskbars are useful. Hello, people that use computers. You have a task Bar, whether it's down here at the bottom because you're on Windows or it's up here because you're on Linux or you're on Mac OS. We're used to having taskbars. So on a big Android screen, why not have taskbars? They do add to productivity. So this is something that we're not going to see in the full release of Android 12. This is something that will likely be worked on and added in for Android 12.1, which will be the first big update for Android 12. Really cool stuff. I love seeing this kind of a functionality for productivity added into stock Android. No additions needed to be made by the actual maker of the phone. Pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have a set of renders made by Let's Go Digital, who absolutely are crushing in the render uh, production and showing off game. We've talked about some of their Surface Duo 2 renders in the past, so thank you again for making those. These renders are actually of the Samsung Galaxy S22 plus and these are based off of the best data that we have going forward obviously the colors cannot be 100 percent finalized or whatever but this looks a lot like the s21 line that we just had with a few small tweaks being made here and there personally i still think it's a pretty cool interesting different looking design i always like when a phone when you see it in someone's hand you're like that's the s21 because you know because look at it it doesn't look like anything else you can say it's ugly or you can say it's pretty, but to me, kind of like the Pixel 6 where I'm coming around to it because, again, when you see the Pixel 6, you know it's the Pixel 6. There's nothing else it could possibly be besides the Pixel 6. S22, same kind of thing going on here. I really like that that uh, teal bluish color there. We do have some camera specs that are being reported, though. So a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 50 megapixel wide angle. So that's your primary shooter. So they may be jumping to a 50 megapixel there, as well as a 10 megapixel telephoto. So the S22 Plus, of course, likely to continue the tradition of Samsung phones being really good cameras. What do you think of the design of the S22 uh, shown off here in these renders? Is this something you would be interested in buying? It's definitely a design that is either going to go one way or the other for you. You're not going to be in the middle. You're either going to think it looks good or you're going to think that it looks terrible. What do you guys think in the comments down below? So guys, that is all the news I do have for you today. Like I've talked about on numerous occasions already, I will be live on September the 22nd starting at about 10.45 a.m. Eastern time for the Surface Hardware event. Now, I'm not going to be streaming any video feed from the Surface Hardware event. You're just going to want to be live on my screen and then maybe put the Surface event on your other screen, on your Duo or whatever, and watch them both because I can't stream their content without getting myself in trouble. But I will be live in 45 a.m. September the 22nd. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you there to enjoy this lovely hardware event where we're going to get to see Surface Duo 2. Can't wait. Can't wait to see you guys there as well. So stay tuned for more coverage just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.